Fatty liver disease is a disease that often afflicts alcoholics, but it's increasingly being seen in children. Doctors say that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is closely linked to obesity, which is rising among Taiwan's children. Since most children suffering from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease are asymptomatic, pediatricians encourage parents to take their children in for regular checkups. Overeating and lifestyle changes have made non-alcoholic fatty liver disease a common liver disease in Taiwan. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has a global prevalence of about 25 percent. In Taiwan, the rate is higher, at about 30 percent. Doctors say that a growing number of children are at risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is a global problem, not only the Western country, but also in Taiwan. And uh, we found that obese or overweight children is uh, more and more. So uh, we are uh, worried about the condition about non-alcoholic fatty disease will affect these children's health. So in Taiwan, uh, the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is about one-third uh, 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 obese children. Dr. Tai says non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is closely related to obesity. In fact, obesity is the most common cause of liver disease in children. It is a chronic liver disease caused by excessive fat accumulation in the liver. The prevalence rate is about 7% of all children and adolescents and 34% of obese children. This is a problem because uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease will affect their liver function, even uh, progress to liver fibrosis or cirrhosis. And in Western country, we found the incidence of liver transplantation due to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is growing, even uh, 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 become the, uh, become the uh, number two uh, cause of the uh, liver, uh, liver transplantation list. Dr. Tai Ji San says studies show that in one-third of patients with fatty liver, hepatocyte inflammatory injuries may progress to fibrosis or cirrhosis and possibly cause patients to develop liver cancer. In addition, most children with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease are asymptomatic. A few may experience pain in the upper right abdomen and nonspecific symptoms such as abdominal discomfort or fatigue. Dr. Tai advises parents of overweight children to consult a doctor about ways to change their lifestyle diet controlled, you have to know the uh, portion or the uh, cooking weight and also the increased uh, their daily activity including uh, as, uh, some uh, uh, decreased uh, time for TV or video game and increase their activity. Dr. Tai says treatment of non-alcoholic liver disease can only start with weight control. She says lifestyle intervention and diet control over 3 to 12 months can effectively improve liver function and reduce the severity of the liver disease. With diet modification, health education, physical activity, and regular outpatient follow-ups, the liver can gradually return to normal after half a year. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Huang Pinghan in Taipei.